Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here, or you know, what Tom and Jerry would see as a person uh, back then. Uh, basically, I'm in a very tight filming spot right now. I'm in my office, but I'm just very tight with how this has to be, and I'm against the wall, but I have an airsoft unboxing for you guys. I am extremely excited to open this up right now. I was a bit, um, I don't know, I, I was questioning my purchase a little bit. Going off reviews on Evike, I, or I guess it's pronounced Evik, I heard, I didn't know. That's, it shouldn't end in an I-K-E if it's not Ike. But I was I was a bit, uh, you know, skeptical about this order until I saw Airsoftology put out a video like yesterday and I'm like, oh, that's literally the gun I just ordered. Hell yes, I'm so excited. Um, so I got an Evike outpost right here, a uh, little paper. And he basically was just talking about how pleasantly surprised he was with this gun and that that was all I needed to hear. So uh, I'm so stoked. This is going to be my new primary. It's going to be... I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna be such a, I'm just like, I don't even really know what to say, because I'm just so excited for this right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, oh, well, first, what's over here? This is the battery I have right here, so that's, I ordered that separately, so I'm not even gonna really bother with that, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and slide this out of the way and get to the main box, as you can see right here, Falcor Defense. You know what this is. Oh, you know what this is. We're going to slap the top right here. Oh, I love the box. I love that gray. Reminiscent of what the gun's original color is, but I didn't get the original gray. I went for stealth black. Take that off. Oh. And there it is. Oh my god, I just... I'm so stoked. You have no idea. This right here is the Falcor Blitz. We got the unjamming rod right there. Wow, so without that blue... Right, so... It does, it, it does uh, come with the orange tip on it right here. Usually with the Blitz, it's like blue with the gray. Since I got the black one, it has uh, an orange tip, but it also does have um, this tip right here. It's a black one you can, you can uh, replace and put on the front, which I'm going to show you that real quick. And that's like a nice, oh, Falcor Pence, look at that. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the front right here. It will be screwing on this side. So I'm going to set that right here. And we have not much in the box besides the gun, the, t the replacement tip, and a plastic mid-cap magazine that looks like. It's not bad, but it does take standard M4 mags. So I have plenty of those, and I will be getting more of those in the future. Throw that aside, and here's the gun. This is honestly much, much lighter than I thought it would be. Holy crap. It's honestly more front more front heavy than anything but look at the look at all that breathing space with the rails right there look how open that is and all these uh, tactical rails oh my god it has actual labeling for the numbers on the uh, rail it has two uh, finger grooves right here if you are somebody who likes to uh, grip their magazine when shooting it has two little finger grooves right there it is ambidextrous so obviously you have um, you have the mode switcher on the side right here and that also reflects on this side you have a nice small little magazine release button right there. I didn't honestly mean to. I thought I was going to have to click harder, but it just kind of went. Um, you also have a little uh, bolt hold right here. So you have the this really stylish, like almost custom looking bolt right here. And you can actually press this down. You can press this little button down right here, which will hold it open so you can adjust your gearbox a lot easier. And then you just kind of click that and it goes. Close that right there and same thing on this side. And then you have this beautiful RS2 slide stock and the battery goes in the back right here there's a, a small pin on the side which then pops out this bolt right here you get that flaps down on a hinge Let's see if we can get that open real quick luckily like I said I watched the video for this by airsoftology uh, last night so I got to see some of the uh, little uh, little teaser features beforehand so I just use a little uh, screwdriver and I just kind of put some pressure on the other side to pop out this pin that's the pin right there and that comes out on a hinge and so the battery is going to slide in right here it's a, uh, a single slot it's not very big in there there's not a lot of room but uh, also one thing I really really like I've always had a problem with standard M4 stocks of getting them off easily but this looks like you just have these little two knobs right here you pull that down slides right off amazing that is one of the best features of this gun and i'm honestly sure i mean i guess maybe i'm just behind but every m4 style gun or every gun i've ever gotten where the stock came off has always been such a pain to remove the stock you have to you know what i'm talking about you have to pull it down on one side to get it far enough then you have to like reverse the handle you have to push the handle the opposite way to then pull it out no that's eliminated you just have this little 
this little dongle on both sides slides right off. So it's super easy to switch out if you want to. I don't know why you would though. Look at this thing. It looks like a wrench. I could beat somebody to death with this in like half life or something. I don't know. Yeah, so again, it's got, it's like, it has a whole bunch of laser engravings everywhere. And it's even got like little finger grooves right here for your all you safety no safety nuts out there, which I am on your side, I'm with you. But yeah, so uh, if you are curious, if you're interested in getting this gun right here, it uh, retails for about, I think it's 3.30 on evike.com. I think it's right around 3.30. You can get a couple different variants. You can actually get the longer variant where the barrel's like this long or even, but this is the more mid-range, close quarters um, AR, and I could not be happier so far with it. It feels so comfortable. I mean, I can't even describe the feeling of this gun right now. It's just, it just feels so amazing. I cannot wait to load this thing up and use it. So, so, uh, but yeah, that's the beauty of this gun right here. <clears throat> and if you want more information on this gun, I will link it in the description if you want to check it out yourself. The magazine's a little bit wobbly in there, but this is also cheap mag, so it probably doesn't fit perfectly. But that's okay. That doesn't seem like it'll be much of a problem. Um, yeah, if you guys want to check it out yourself, it will be the first link in the description so you guys can go buy it if you want to or buy one of the other versions. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to get around to. I'm going to try to do a shooting test with it as soon as possible. But like I said, in the middle of trying to plan a move, so it might be a little bit difficult. But I will try to do a shooting test as soon as possible, followed by a review after I've shot it a few times and kind of played with it. So I won't be able to play with, play with it in a game for a while, but just shooting it myself. So that is it, guys. This is the Falcor Blitz. And, uh, man... I just, just by feel alone, guys, this gun is like a 9 out of 10 for feel. The only thing you really lose is the point, honestly, just because the magazine's a little bit loose, but that's, I don't blame the gun, I blame the magazine, so. But yeah, guys, so that's really it. This is the Falcor Blitz, and not this, this, but this goes with it. Um, if you guys want to see more Airsoft-related videos, check the links in the description below, and that will be popping up on the end card soon. And, um, yeah, subscribe for more. Please subscribe. I want to gain as many subs as I can once I start doing gameplays. You guys can check that out. Leave a like, share with a friend, check out the gun, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Let me know what you think about this gun in the comments below. Later.